Okay, so I'm doing this brief video. I was listening to Sunny Johnson yesterday and she she's talking about something that well she's been talking about it for a while too. But um, I did a video about no name versus killer Mike and it's basically the capitalism versus uh, Marxism, socialism, but it's specifically centered within the black community. And yes, I could say there's a war coming. Actually, I think the war is already here. Black capitalists versus black, well, in fact, it's not even black capitalists coming after black Marxists. It's black Marxists and black socialists demonizing black capitalists. And they're saying, you know, uh, hey, you can't be, you can't believe in black empowerment and believe in capitalism. I think that's utter bullshit. But they're out there and they're, and they're coming for black capitalists. It's, it's, it's clear. Uh, so when you take a look at somebody like uh, Patrice Cullors, my criticism of her is preaching Marxism, advocating for Marxism while living capitalism. I'm glad, like the, the point that you, that she recognized that ownership and that, that gives her the power, because and, and if you notice it, she actually specifically mentions that word. It's about power. Yes, that's what ownership is about. That's what wealth building is about. It's about power over yourself and having the power to positively impact the lives of the people you love. That's what it's about. So there are people who want to frame it as in, um, oh, but black capitalists don't care about, like, no. Like, we want to provide for our families. We want our families to be, not to have to worry, not to have to worry about where the next meal is coming from, where they're gonna sleep. And, and then, aside from the needs, we want them to be happy. We want them to be able to have things that make them comfortable, things that, that they enjoy. Like, like I said, I, did, uh, I talked about how uh, you, can, you can criticize drug dealers all you want, Drug dealers start getting money. What do they do? They buy their mama a house. Same thing as sport uh, athletes. They get, they get, they get, you know, some some real money. Boom, buy mama a house. Like that's what that's what black capitalism is. It's about providing for the people you love that mean something to you. And it's not just family, friends too. You look at LeBron James. He he brought his his whole crew on. Put them on. Boom, they're good. They're taken care of. So the the arguments, the criticisms, the demonization of black capitalism, it's, it's existing and it's, and it's being waged by these black Marxists, black socialists who want to see, say that, oh, capitalism is evil and you can't, be, you can't believe in black empowerment and believe in capitalism. But right now we're seeing and we are hearing the, the, the argument by one of these black Marxists that, oh, well, it's okay for me to do it. It's, it's okay for me to buy uh, multiple properties and lavish properties because I'm taking care of my family. Like, that's what, that's what all of us are talking about. That's, that's what black capitalism is about. Taking care of your family. Taking, providing for your family, providing for yourself, providing for your children, providing for generations. Providing for generations so that we don't have black kids that don't have a that 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 don't even have food to eat like that's ridiculous so this this because man this light is killing me let me okay okay so man let me try this so that we don't have just generations of poverty continuing because that's that's the alternative so the alternative uh, is, oh, don't try to build wealth, don't try to own anything, and be destitute and be unable to provide for your kids, provide for your, the, the people you love, and just be, be waiting for somebody, to come, somebody else to come save you. That's absurd. That, that, that makes no sense, and that puts you at the mercy of others. And if they if, if they're decide to be good okay what if they decide not to what if they decide to 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 attach all sorts of strings to their 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 aid 
to, to the help they provide. Because best believe that's what the government does. None of this comes just out of the kindness of their own heart. There's always strings attached. But Sonny Johnson's talking about it and, and it's becoming more evident because they're becoming more forceful and their attacks against black capitalists are, are growing in strength. And yeah, the war is here. The war is here and, and it's a war of ideologies and it's going to take people to, to acknowledge the benefits and the power of what ca can be done with black capitalism. You could say, because capitalism is a tool and wealth is a tool, money is a tool. You can use it to help people or you can use it to hurt people. The purpose of black capitalism is to help the black community. That's what the purpose is. What these Marxists, these socialists are advocating for is, actually I take a look at it in a historical context, how historically there has been a tax on black wealth. There's been a tax, there, there have been coordinated and intentional um, attacks, not just on black wealth after it's created, but to stop black, black wealth from being created. So from the laws that were passed in this country prohibiting black people from owning property um, and then creating all sorts of obstacles to, to black people gathering wealth and owning wealth and owning um, you know, property and amassing wealth, all kinds of obstacles. And then even ideologically where they started using, um, and Malcolm talked about this, how they would talk about the, the, uh, they're using Christianity to sell uh, black people that, oh no, you, you don't need to, you, you can build, you can have heaven, uh, your, 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 your heaven, your treasures in heaven. You don't need to, to build, uh, to worry about that now. And he's like, you know, they're, they're preaching this to, to black people today while they have their heaven on earth right now. And now you've replaced laws, from laws to Christianity to a new ideology, which is doing and attempting to do the same thing, trying to stop and discourage black people from owning wealth, from, gather, from building wealth, from providing, providing for ourselves and our families. Now's a new ideology that is trying to act like, and it's not even new, but it's, it's, it's a replacement ideology that's done to do the same, to achieve the same aims and stop black wealth from being created. It's absurd, and, but it's where we're at. And if you look at it, there, there are attacks against uh, Patrice Cullors from the left. They're mad that she's engaging in capitalism. There are attacks from her, at, from the right, against her advocacy of Marxism while living capitalism. If you're going to live capitalism, live capitalism, but don't try to act like people are demonizing capitalism when other people are doing it. Just because that's what, because even if you chose to live Marxism, live socialism, like that's there's still not a reason to attack and demonize black capitalism. But to live capitalism while advocating Marxism is at the very least sheer hypocrisy. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it's interesting because it's where we're at. And like I told you about the attacks that Killer Mike got and, and it's still under. The tax, like I just just this morning, somebody was attacking um, Ice Cube because he's part of the one percent. What? Kamala Harris is part of the one percent, but you're dancing in the streets for her. Like, what does that? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> it has nothing to do with nothing. But there's this this ideology has like spread like wildfire, whereas in wealth is being demonized. Uh, and it makes no sense because like, yeah, like these organizations, they know they need money to operate. 
they need lots of money to operate so how are you now going to, to criticize people building wealth for themselves and their families um, but if you look at what's going on um, yeah I was talking about Twitter see I got sidetracked um, ah yes so yeah the, the, the person on Facebook who was talking about Cube is part of the 1% and um, this this they're, they're attacking um, Cube Killer Mike uh, there's critiques of Diddy, which, <laughs> like I said, can, money is a tool. It can be used for good and for uh, bad. So the, the critiques of Diddy and, and as it relates to Black Rob, because, yeah, it, Black Rob should not have died homeless and broke. I don't know. There, there's... There's reports that Diddy did help. I don't know. Um, maybe more information will come out. Maybe some of it will be accurate. Maybe some of it won't. But once again, that's that's a message. Like, the, if, if if you're broke, you like you like health care, taking care of yourself, providing for yourself, your basic needs. Like, there's, and it reminds me of that Mace line. Being broke and alone is something I can't condone. Yes, like why would you want to, to, to be powerless, to not have the ability to provide for your basic needs? It makes no sense. But ultimately, in fact, because um, while I was talking about Killer Mike and, and but to Killer Mike, I didn't realize the situation with No Name, that No Name was actually her current stance does, doesn't appear to have been her original stance so apparently the socialists are going at black figures black you know influential figures and are like you know piling on trying to demonize and and you know demonize demonizing capitalism and demonizing them for engaging in capitalism in order to sway them and at that point it's like okay yeah yeah, so now now it, it is definitely an ideological war and there's got to be people who are going to stand up and not go for the nonsense. You're not going to sit here and act like there's virtue in not being able to provide for the people you love. That there's no virtue in that. In refusing to in a, in refusing to do what is necessary to have the power to take care of yourself and others. That's absurd. But it's, the war is here. Zunny Johnson is right. And there's people who, who are getting caught up in stupid stuff and not realizing where the actual, where the actual divide is. They're letting, they're letting culture warrior nonsense um, interfere with actual, actual, actually improving people's lives and having a positive effect on people's lives and it's not just going to stay ideological in fact it's not even been it's not it hasn't even been staying ideological because their influence does exist in the political sphere as well and they're pushing for policies that are going to make it harder to build wealth to hold wealth like they're talking about wealth taxes and the, and that's just that's war on success like that's trying to make it as hard as possible for people to, to and, and it's more it's going to be the wealth tax and stuff like that that's the biggest targets are new wealth what is black wealth new wealth this is not by accident this is by design this is what they do and we have got to have a message that lets people know there's definitely no shame in building wealth. There's actually, I mean, th th that's a virtue. If you care about, if you care about your family, you care about your friends, why wouldn't you build wealth? Why wouldn't you get that power to help them as they need it? To have the power over your own life so that you're not 
at the mercy of others. That's it for this video. Thank you for checking this out and uh, I'll see you next time.